Gamer Fan is back with a series review. I'm going to review Transformers Prime. The new channel, The Hub, is an exclusive show called the Transformers Prime on The Hub. This series is inspired by the live action movies and it follows its own storyline. And for the, if, if you don't want to be spoiled, I'm going to give you five seconds to turn off this video. Here's what the story is. The Autobots are still on Earth, and this takes this takes place three years after after one of the films. This takes place three years into the movies. Don't know which one is following, but still. In this series, the Autobots was comprised of Optimus Prime, RC, Cliff Jumper, Ratchet. Bumblebee and Bulkhead are still on Earth scouting for more Energon while keeping a lookout. Unbeknownst to them that the Decepticons still remained on Earth but hidden. I'm just reviewing the first miniseries of the, of the Transformers Prime. Let's get started on the cast part. Like We got Peter Collins and Frank Walker both reprising their roles as Optimus Prime and Megatron, respectfully. Steve, Steve, B L U M. If I spell his name wrong, please let me know. Does the voice of Starscream, and it, he gives a chilling performance. One of the, this is one of the best performances of Starscream. There's only him, Soundwave, and Megatron that are in the series for the Decepticons. I'm sure we'll see more of them soon enough. And the Decepticons have tons of Decepticon drones. Actually, this series actually is following the same storyline as Transformers Prime. Megatron returns with a new power source, which he claimed to be the blood of Unicron, and it turns out to be Dark Energon. He soon discovers that he can revive the dead with his Energon and make them, to them his slaves. It basically help, gives him the power over them. And the, le, le, during this, this, these five episodes, uh, they Autobots befriend uh, three humans. Jack is one, of, Ralph, and I forgot the female's name. I think it was Miko, I believe. I believe that was her name. But anyway, they and they have a um, agent w working for them for the government on the Autobots side. Bauer is what his, na his name is. Well, this they, this I had um so I was reserving my opinions until until I saw all five episodes of Transformers Prime and I'll say this they were building up the story before, before the final battle this was very impressive and it was a very good fight it's just the series it was just buying it it was just it was just being patient like they were not trying to rush things like many other series would do. They were just trying to get people, the fans, to understand the characters. Get the characters to develop and then they carry on the stories. Jeffrey Combs does the voice of Ratchet and it's a pretty good voice work as well. The cast is pretty strong with these with the characters, and I have mixed feelings about Megatron's new voice. Frank Walker was told told they wanted to bring his voice into a little more different from his G1 counterpart. And there's some segments where he actually sounds like the G1 Megatron, like in Episode Three, where he says, "Behold the power of Dark Energon." It clearly sounds like the G1 Megatron. 
Peter Collin, as often as promised, still great. He says it's his favorite role he ever did, and he was an honor to bring, be brought back for the role. Frank Walker was happy to come back as well. That was my only. That was my main reason to watch the series was to have the originals, G1 character actors reprising their roles, that ma that made them icons among G1 fans and all Transformers fans for that matter. The animation is full CGI. It's the first CGI Transformers series since Beast Wars. Since Beast Wars, I'm not. I disown uh, Beast Machines because Beast Machines suck. That's just my opinion. Anyway, great CGI effects. Very good animation. It's really interesting to see how the writers are going to take this story. The way the series took off, it basically just mean we're going to be in for a wild ride. We just need to tune in to see what else takes place in this series. So yeah, overall I give Transformers Prime the mini series, series an 8 out of 10. I'm really interested to see how they take the story. Thank y'all for watching and take care. Autobots, Transform, and roll!